so that I can open up something for you. Now listen to what he says. Now to him that is of power to establish you according to my gospel. Now you have to understand that people want you to teach or preach their gospel, but everyone has their gospel. And their gospel is still from the gospel, but it is their revelation of God based on the mysteries that God has unlocked in them. You see, the issue that we have in church is that everyone wants you to preach what was preached in 1965. But you are in 2023, God is ever opening up mysteries and secrets. And mysteries and the secrets and the, and the, uh, the mysteries and the secrets of God are given to certain custodians at a certain time. What is in them will be unlocked and many people will receive that revelation. And those people will begin from a different plateau than those in 1965. So there's a lot of people who want old truth, which is still truth. But they are not ready for present truth and future truth. So what was good, what you could do in business in 2010, you cannot do in 2023 because the landscape has changed. Spiritually, it is also the same. The only thing that is the same is God. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. The spiritual world changes just like the world changes. Amen. Am I talking to spiritual people? Amen. The Bible says even the tactics, tactics of the devil's what? Change. Everything shifts. The only thing that remains the same is God and his word. Now the word of God itself is a mystery. And you notice... Paul saying something very interesting here. He's saying God is able to establish you according to my gospel. Now, if you notice what the apostle Paul taught, if you know the counsel of God, it is not actually new. But it is shocking that the one that believed in the Torah more than the other ones, that was schooled in it more, was the one that understood the mystery of grace. That God was not interested in the circumcision of your foreskin. He was interested in the circumcision of the heart. He started unlocking these things that even the apostles, he called them out. He said, listen guys, this is the gospel God has given me to preach to the Gentiles. The apostles who are with Jesus, Jesus is telling them, I came to save everyone. They are the same ones who are stuck on only the Jews. Only the Jews. Only the Jews. He said, guys, can't you see the Holy Spirit is falling on them? Just like it's falling on us. Therefore, there is no Jew, no Greek, no what, no Gentile. So notice this was God's intention from the beginning for the whole human race. But the ones who received revelation, they only unlocked what was enough for them. But they were not ready for the revelation to excel beyond them because they were just about them. So when God has established something, he has established it for the benefit of all men, of all colors, because we are all his people. But here's the issue now. The issue is that if you are somebody that received a certain level of revelation, you may stick to it saying that that is the only truth. then now you begin to find people who went beyond you. But yet they have results that show that what you're saying was true, but for your season, not for this season. Good, that's, that's good. good. I, I don't know if I'm talking to somebody. There was a time that believers were persecuted. It was the norm. It was a time that believers in the early days of the church, believers were persecuted. They were in hiding. They were suffering. Their faith was strong. And they set up and fought for a foundation that we are enjoying now. But Christians who want persecution, they will seek out persecution thinking that that's what validates them. Are you getting what I'm saying? 
There was a time people could not have nice things because they were escaping. These ones are trying to kill them. That one is trying to kill them. They can't even establish anything. Then the season came whereby now nobody is chasing us. They still want you to ride a donkey yet there's Lamborghini. Amen. I'm talking to the wrong people. Can Amen. I talk to somebody? Amen. Good. Can I talk to somebody? Yes. So there are people who are stuck in tradition and they have left the path of revelation. Notice what he's saying. Now to him that is of power to establish you. According to my gospel and the preaching of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery. God is a God of what? Mysteries. And revelation is what unlocks mysteries. The life of a child of God that will make you have an impact both spiritually and physically is hidden in mysteries. Notice this. Which was kept secret since the beginning. Or since the world began. Now let me explain to you. God, Jesus always existed because he's God. But nobody knew. Adam saw him, met him. Then man was disconnected from God. Then God started appearing to people, sending angels. Into, but there were those who saw him. Enoch saw a vision of the Lord. It's written in the book of Jude. And I saw the Lord coming with thousands upon thousands of angels. So there are those who saw him, but there are people who it was like, it's a mystery. How is it going to look like? Is he really God? Is he really going to come like a man? Moses also speaks about it because he saw it. But for them, it was a mystery. But for our time... It's a secret that is in the open. We all know Jesus Christ is Lord. We all know that he is God manifested in the flesh. Yeah. It is not hidden anymore. Yes. It is open. Yes. Is somebody understanding me? Yes. But for a period, that was not even possible. How could you say God is going to become a man? What do you mean God is going to die? No, God cannot die. He lays down his life. No, what do you mean? So there are people right now in Israel still waiting for him to come. Yet he came. Because they are still bound in tradition. They miss the mystery. But it doesn't mean the mystery did not become revelation and the revelation was not an open secret. That everybody knows except the people that he visited. Wow. Wow. Is this making sense so far? Yes. 